Hello once again. Today we'll have more examples on frequency count. So we have here the following. So if you will take a look, there is no conditional statements and iterative statements. It's just a plain, simple statements. We have x is equal to 6, y is equal to 8, z is equal to x plus y, and then print z. So, if we have simple statements, this, this is counted as 1. For y is equal to 8, 1. For z is equal to x plus y, 1. And print z, 1. So, the total here, we have 4. Okay, next, we have this one. It uses the iterative statement while. So, therefore, we'll apply the formula for iterative statement. But before that, let's have first this one. Since this one is declared outside the loop, that means that is a simple statement. I is equal to 2. So that is counted as 1. Then next, since this is the iterative statements or this is the while loop, We'll apply the upper bound minus lower bound plus 2. So here, our upper bound is J minus lower bound. So our lower bound here is I. And for our I, it is represented by 2. So we'll just have it 2. And then plus 2. So if we'll compute for that, Minus 2 plus 2, that is 0. So, our final answer here is J. Okay, next, we have these statements inside this iterative statement. So, therefore, if we have this one, we'll use the formula upper bound minus lower bound plus 1. So, dito... Ang pagkukuhanan pa rin natin ng upper bound at lower bound ay doon sa ating condition sa while. We will not get the variables here like x and 1. So, ang nire-refer pa rin dito na upper bound and lower bound ay yung ating condition doon sa while. So, same. We'll have the upper bound which is j minus Lower bound i, which is equal to 2, plus 1. So, negative 2 plus 1, we have negative 1. So, our answer here, we'll get our variable j minus 1. Or, if you don't prefer to use this formula, Ang gagawin nyo na lang is uh, mag less 1 lang kayo dito sa naunang computation. Okay? Next, this is again another statement inside the while loop. So, therefore, same formula sila dito kay x is equal to x plus 1. So, we'll just copy this one. Upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 is still, ang upper bound na tinutukoy pa rin is J. Lower bound is I which is equal to 2 and then plus 1. So, same answer, J minus 1. Okay? So, if we'll get for the total frequency count, we'll get all the variables. We have 3J, then we have constants 1 minus 1, that is 0. So, ang natitira na lang is minus 1. So, our answer, our total frequency count, 3J minus 1. Next. So, now, let's start with this one. This is a simple statement declared outside the loop. So, this is counted as 1. And then next, this is an iterative statement. We have the for loop. So our formula here, we have upper bound minus lower bound plus 2. So our upper bound here, we have n minus 1. So n minus 1. 
And then lower bound, we have 5. Minus 5 plus 2. So, i-group natin para hindi kayo ma-confuse kung saan saan ang upper bound at lower bound. So, ang upper bound natin is n minus 1. Ang lower bound natin is 5 plus 2. So, if we have there, n minus 1 minus 5, we have minus 6 plus 2, we have negative 4. So, n minus 4. Then, next, this is a statement inside the loop. Okay? Nasa loob siya ng for loop. So, therefore, we'll use the formula upper bound minus lower bound plus 1. So, again, ang upper bound na tinutukoy dito is yung nasa ating for loop pa rin. Hindi tayo dito titingin doon sa ating condition. So, upper bound natin is n minus 1 minus lower bound is still our lower bound is 5 plus 1. So, our answer here, we have n, our constants, negative 1 minus 5, that is negative 6, plus 1, that is negative 5. So, n minus 5. And lastly, we have this return s. For this return s, that is a simple statement. It's because that is declared outside the loop. So, kung itong return S ay nataon na nasa loob ng loop natin, ia-apply natin ito. Pero, since ito ay na-declare sa labas ng loop, so that is counted as 1. So, if you'll we'll get for the total frequency count, we have here 2N, then we'll have the constants, 1 minus 4, that is negative 3, minus 5, that is negative 8, plus 1, that is negative 7. And lastly, we have this one, the use of conditional statements. So, these are declared outside the if-else condition. So, this is counted as 1. B is equal to 2, 1. Then, our condition, 1. Okay? Next, let's have the different statements in our if-else. So, if we have this one, print divisible by 2, that is counted as 1. And print not divisible by 2, counted as 1. If you will recall in our previous discussion, whichever is the maximum, Sa dalawang statement, yun ang kukunin. But in this example, since parehas silang 1, ang kukunin natin, of course, is the value itself, 1. So, kung naaalala nyo sa previous discussion, kung nataon na maraming statements dito, example 2 ang sagot dyan, so ang kukunin natin is 2. Okay? Disregard na yung 1. Pero ito, since parehas silang 1, then we'll get the, the same count, which is 1. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer here is 4. So, those are some of the examples on using iterative statements, conditional statements, and simple statements in frequency count. Next video lecture... We have examples on nested statements. Thank you.